I can wholeheartedly say that I fell in love with the Shamshera teaser. It presented such a dark, lifeless and violent larger than life canvas of a man wronged and presumably gearing up for revenge. It made me assume that this is going to be Hindi cinema's answer to what has been lacking for so long. Mass cinema with an emotional fervor that even makes audiences forget about its over the top treatment. What was in the teaser brooding, eventful and consumed with rage shifted quite contrastingly with the trailer, even revealing so many key elements from the plot that it disconnected me on the dated way with which creators designed trailers at this point. Someone had pointed out to me that the reason why the trailer gets cut in this particular way is so that audiences can be more motivated to go to the theater, a slice of comedic relief as a catalyst for them not to be tuning in for a snooze fest. I completely disagree on that argument as audiences I presume are not seeking for comedy just for the sake of it, but if it organically blends in with the storyline. Irrespective the tonality of the teaser and trailer are quite evidently very different and to address the same becomes important. I think in order to fully justify all my conflicting thoughts and not sugarcoat my opinion and beat around the bush it's important for me to point out and tell you what I'm skeptical about and what I absolutely loved about the trailer of the film you also do chime in in the comments below what makes you slightly worried versus what you absolutely love about the film's trailer so what I loved about it scale and vision I still think what is clear about the trailer is that Karan Malhotra has gone all guns blazing for this film at least in order to really attract audiences that a movie is presenting them some form of escapism with a larger than life canvas. I think the segregation of OTT and theaters this aspect becomes more and more relevant and essential for a film's business to do well and this is also something that Ranbir has also constantly revealed on the motivating factor to say yes to films in the future. The scale does look absolutely grand and the set design especially the locations in which some of the combat sequences have been shot look like a spectacle to say the least family sentiment and face off there is a twitter tamil term among fans and critics when they go for a film and assess whether it works or not and that term is family sentiment it either flops for them or completely works to create the perfect package i think the core of the film and what will really motivate audiences is how they correlate the relationship between the father and the son even though i'm bummed out that the marketing team went out of their way to reveal the plot point which could have worked so beautifully as an interval block leading to massive hooting and cheering meant for the Theaters, irrespective, I think the strongest point about the trailer was the thread that connects both the generations. This ultimately will, of course, lead to a face-off between Ranbir and Sanjay Dutt, which has me thoroughly excited. I think someone rightly pointed out that no one has really used Sanjay Dutt as an antagonist in the last ten years or so really well, other than Malhotra, who did it with Agnipath, and he seems to be in a vicious, sadistic avatar that will definitely account for an exciting third and final act. the father of tar and the menacing force of sanjay dat i think we can all agree that most of us are excited about the origin story of the father and his journey more than the upbeat self discovery journey of the son it is because of the teaser and the father role played by ranbir himself sporting a thick beard mostly brooding and consumed by anger that made us jump on the edge of our seats with excitement the rather carefree and comedic ranbir playing the role of the son is a hit and a miss for me at least when it comes to the trailer or the glimpses we have seen i think sanjay dat's dark humor will really work for the film something that malhotra channelized even with kancha china The father of Tar and the role of Ronit Roy has me more intrigued. I think Ronit Roy will play a key role in making the son realize what's his true destiny. Now let's get to what I'm worried about. A full summary. The trailer really did go out of his way to tell us everything about the film. I'm sure the movie will have some surprises along the journey, but I'm still so bummed out that they had to reveal that the father and the son duo will be both played by Ranbir Kapoor. I think it would have accounted for a great surprise in the theaters. Irrespective, I think the beats of the screenplay of the film are pretty clear. Ronit Roy describing the legend of Shamshera only to be interrupted by the chosen one, presumably the son. You've got a fun-loving and energetic decoit who loots the rich and influential, mostly taking from royal families who work under the pay grade of the British Empire. This of course leads to the introduction of Shud Singh, who is ready to do the dirty work for the imperialist forces, only to further reveal that there is a history between the boy and him. that he did not envision a connection with the father that he encountered several years ago a big revelation of course explores the story of his father and how the very thought makes him understand his destiny is to exact revenge these are not assumptions but literally what the trailer spilled out for me so i'm not even spoiling anything at this point the color grading and vfx 
I'm absolutely exhausted with YRF's obsession with the yellow color palette. Many of their posters look like versions of the same universe and the palette doesn't look any different from the visuals of Prithvi Raj as well, which is definitely not a good sign for a film that is being presented on such a big scale. A lot of people are talking about the clunky visual effects of the train sequence, but as I say for most Telugu mass projects, trust me, if the sentiment and motivations of the characters perfectly work in sync with an engaging background score, even the most over the top sequences will be celebrated and appreciated. One wants escapism and if done right with emotionally investing the audience, this will also get hooting and cheering. Vani Kapoor and Relevance Let's not beat around the bush about the relevance of Vani Kapoor's character in this universe. She seems to be playing a performer that our main character fancies along this journey. Besides being a romantic lead, I don't think there will be a contribution by the character, a problem that exists with most female leads in pan-Indian blockbusters as well. It's a man show and Vani will only play second fiddle. In one frame, also seeming to be trapped like Basanti. After watching that, my suspicion really got cemented into what will transpire on the big screen. The underwater sequence did not seem jarring to me at all. If it's just a song choreography, I really see a double standard online of what is jarring to them in some trailers versus what is a pass for others. You guys know what I'm talking about. One of the biggest drawbacks of a film like Thugs of Hindustan beyond its incoherent plot was that it put all the pressure on Amir Khan. Comedy, action, intense scenes, the balancing act in itself, it all got weighed down, which would have otherwise been a great canvas for a compelling story. I hope the same doesn't happen for the character played by Ranbir because it seems like they want him to do the basic heavy lifting of this film. The comedy tinge of this film has me slightly worried and after the trailer, all I can say, as I've mentioned previously in my videos for other big scale Hindi films, is that I'm only cautiously optimistic. And that's that. And that was the video guys. Write down in the comments below what you thought about the trailer. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle's right in front of you. Follow me at JammyPants4. Also, please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.